One thing that is missing, or at least that I haven't seen, uh, would be some overland pathways to, uh, between the various bases. So the water, the waterway is, is good. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Uh, but the downside, of course, is that sometimes it's, it's a bit circuitous. You have to kind of go around and around and around instead of directly, directly across. So maybe we can get some, uh, some pathways over the land. Now, oof, oof, okay. I do believe, uh, yes. So we have this tunnel here, the Eastern River, and this is going to take us to Knocked Flames Base. Look at this. A, a lot of work must have gone into this. This this was done in, in survival mode. Somebody, presumably not Flame, who made the waterways, did actually come and tunnel through this entire thing. And that is a tremendous amount of work, and that will be rewarded. We are, we are uh, grateful for that. So, we've got uh, Eastern River Road. Please don't fill. I don't think there's any bases over this way. But I know that Knock Flame's base is in this direction here. Um, I love that the waterways are, are marked and labeled. Looks really nice. I think it's, yeah, here. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. This is definitely it. This has been carved out into the landscape. Whoops, whoops. Why, why are boats so hard to control, folks? Why are boats so hard to control? All right, there we go. There's Knock Flame's base. Uh, so it's time to inspect this one. Googly-eyed squid. Always good. Um, and we'll see what we find over here. So we can come. Is there like a... Oh, here we go. We have a dock. Perfect. So, um, we got Phoenix, Indu Phoenix, Phoenix Shipping, not Phoenix Industries. Um, Craft Foods is the name. Craft Foods. And uh, we'll see if there are any violations here. Now, I think this is just a vanilla village here, and I don't think the, the, uh, temp worker housing, hmm? Temp worker housing. Okay, craft foods, production farms, tours daily. Cool. Um, I would love a tour, please. I would look. Hello? I don't see, um, I don't think anyone's working, folks. Hello? I want I want a tour. I, I would told I was told there were tours. It's gonna vault the wall. Health and safety. Health and safety. I'm allowed. Okay. The temp worker housing does have mushrooms growing in it. Uh, we are gonna have to write that down. That is uh, mushrooms growing in worker housing. That's that's a it's it's a it's a fungus issue. It's a mold issue. Uh, they're gonna have to spray that with some bleach or something. You know. Do, do it properly, but that needs to be, that needs to be cleaned out. Uh, what do we got in this building? Village Cemetery. <laughs> We've got more corpses in a box. Um, now, now, as much as I appreciate this very clever label here, uh, you can't actually have a cemetery in a box. So, uh, cemetery needs to be either outdoors or refrigerated, please. So, um... Just, you know, that's, that's pretty, it's pretty gross. It's pretty nasty. Uh, we've got a creeper statue, okay. Now this place, it's a, it's a little bit busier, it's a little bit messier, just visually speaking, than the other places. Uh, instead of keeping stuff in chests, it looks like stuff is being kept in piles. Now that is fine, to keep stuff in piles. That is one of the mods we have in here, is stackable, where you can actually put any item down and make piles. Unfortunately, this right here is, it, this is a safe, this is a clear safety hazard. I mean, that's way too tall of a stack of a dangerous heavy material. I mean, if somebody bumped into that and that fell over, that could kill somebody. I mean, that could easily kill somebody. So, uh, we need to add tall stacked items need to be fenced off so that we don't have any, any accidents here. That would, that would just be terrible. Uh, we've got, we've got a stack of flowers. This is, I mean, sure, 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 sure. Uh, this all looks okay. Uh, a lot of empty chests, building materials. I'm just kind of doing some random spot checks. We don't have time to look in every box, but it looks like, I mean, th like this is okay. This is a reasonable height. It it's all right if these are out in the open. Uh, this isn't going to kill anybody. It might give somebody a good bump on the head if this one fell over, uh, but it's not going to kill anybody. But that that stack of cobblestone, that is. 
deadly accident just waiting to happen. Uh, we have farms. This is very pretty. I actually like that a lot. Water coming out to grow sugarcane. Uh, this is all fine. Now, keeping in mind this is a food producer, it is very important that we make sure all the food is being produced in a safe way. Uh, this stuff here, yeah, see, we've got these piles of strawberries. Giga pickle? What? Giga pickle, okay. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Zombie jerky, okay. It's technically, that's technically edible, it's technically safe to eat. Um, I don't know that you would want to eat it, but it is technically safe. I'm not sure about these piles. I mean, this this is fine short term, but uh, these will need to be moved to to a, a proper storage area before they get moldy or go bad or anything like that. So uh, I will just I'll, I'll make a mental note to to check on that next time. Got some sandwiches out here. That's all fine. Uh, we do have some garden cloches, which appear to be powered by windmills. Green power always good. Um, this is a little confusing, and I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. There's a lot of peanut butter, which is, is good. I approve of that. A lot of peanuts to presumably be processed into peanut butter. And we've got... Okay, looks like this is kind of a PB&J making station. I hope that's not going into the PB&J. Um, cables look insulated, I think. I think those are insulated cables. Uh, we do have an issue here, though. So, I think it's it's these, it's not the power generation that's causing the pollution, but it looks like um, the machines are causing some pollution. And it looks like, can we get up? Yeah, here we go. It's way up here. Um, so we've got this diamond filter, but I did just see some pollution coming up out of here. Yeah, it's coming from here. We just, oh, that's a, that's a long drop. And I'm not sure, yeah, something's going on down there. We're going to have to go and check that out. Gonna have to go and check that out. What is going on down here that's causing... Whoop. It's not here. Is it this? Crusher. Is this running? It doesn't seem to be running. It's powered, but it's not running. Capacitors. So I'm not sure what's causing that pollution then. Because that was coming up... Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah. No, this is this is an issue right here. These furnaces, they're cooking up some grit, uh, which which would be fine, but we don't have a proper uh, ventilation system here. You can't just have a hole, or if you do just have a hole, then you have to have a way to to properly catch and filter this stuff. And I think maybe that's what the intention of this this uh, pollution pipe pump thing here is. Pump pipe, pump pipe. Uh, but it's it's clearly not it's not doing enough because we have some buildup. So, um, whoops, uh, pollution buildup needs proper cleaning. Uh, yeah, that will have to be dealt with. So, yeah. Oh my, yeah. This is this is a dangerous place to stand as well. So, I see pollution going up and I don't see it coming back down and getting cleaned out. And it looks like this thing is powered. So I'm not sure why it's not keeping up. Okay, I do see some of it disappearing. So it's just not it's just not keeping up fast enough. So maybe instead of this system, there should be something. I, I would I would maybe recommend having some filters, like some chimneys, just directly some chimneys with some filters, and that being that. Okay, um, I think that's all for craft foods, craft with a C, and uh, I do see some some paths here. So it looks like there, there have been some paths made and not just, uh, not just the waterways. Um, I think that's all, that's all for this one. All right, and we're back here. By the way, what's, what's over here in this direction? I haven't checked over here. Oh, look at this! Look at this, we got a little treasure hoard. We got a little treasure hoard. This is pretty. Uh, this is just a decorative thing that's part of the city. Um, oh, I like this. Somebody's, somebody's gone for the fog effect. Unfortunately, the fog effect doesn't work very well unless you have connected textures, which we don't have. Uh, okay, caves out of my jurisdiction, but this is pretty. Whoever built this, that's nice. It's a nice little touch. Nice little touch here, the edge of the, uh, the city. Um, I do want to go and check. There is also a base uh, this way. I don't think we have a path to that base. So, by the way, uh, I think it was Mr. Phoenix 
who built these uh, these new gates into the city to keep all the mobs up. We were getting zombies and creepers and stuff coming in. Okay, we do have a road. We do have a road. Is this going to lead to... Uh, go for a little jog. I could use the exercise. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we, we've got waterways and we do have uh, paths. So, um, not Flame's job as the creator of roads. I would say that's done. Good job. We'll, we'll go and give him his payment. And actually, uh, he was offered... Uh, the opportunity to requisition some materials, uh, basically just shovels and uh, torches and stuff like that for making these these pathways, and he didn't do that. So I'm actually going to give him an extra requisition token. Um, oh goodness, to uh, to make up for that fact because he uses his own materials. So we've got chorus fruits over here. Oh, and we do we have another issue. Okay, so. Um, trying to remember whose base this is now. Do we have a sign somewhere? If not, we can go and we can check in the land registry. Oop. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if this is X student or paint eagle. If we use the waypoint, the city question mark. <laughs> Interesting. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's X student. So this is X student's base. And, uh, not too much to worry about here. We've just got some some items. Was that okay? Those are mob drops. Thought that was food stored next to meat. We couldn't have that, but no, just mob drops. That's fine. Uh, we've got okay vegetables growing up here. This all looks fine. Oof. Uh, we've got a water filter. That's also fine. We've got those are definitely insulated cables there. This one's not insulated, but it is out of the way and above your head, so I think that's all right. Um, the one issue that I do see, of course, is that we do have some pollution over here. And uh, once again, it feels like the pollutant pump is not doing a good enough job. Or actually, it does. It looks like it's it's not even powered. Um, there is a, a filter here, but clearly the pollution is not going through the filter because it's going up into the sky. And this is actually running right now. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take. Um, We'll, we'll just put X, X student's name in here. So we've got uh, pollution not properly contained slash filtered. Uh, that will need to be dealt with because that's going to become a problem over time. Uh, everything else looks okay though. I don't see any safety violations. And it looks like he's still working on building some stuff over here. The rest of this looks all fine. Uh, so just that one one violation basically. And that's it. Um, and I think, oh wait, hold on a second, I do need to also check and make sure, uh, we've got rotten flesh in the fridge and raw fish, okay, so we also need to, uh, raw, raw and rotten meat stored next to vegetables. This, that just needs to be sorted out, I mean, even just putting them on different shelves in the fridge would be okay, but we just can't have them right on top of each other like that. Um, okay, so that's it. I think I'm going to head back to Oasis now. Uh, there are... There's at least one or two other people who've been playing the server, but I don't think they've been on for a while. And I don't think their their bases have progressed to the point where they will need an inspection yet. So I'm going to give them a grace period to kind of get themselves properly set up before I come over there with my clipboard, citing them for violations and whatnot. Uh, so right now I'm going to head back to the city and drop off these reports, and then, uh, and then we'll do a tour of the city. So we are back at Oasis. Uh, I haven't, I haven't completed my paperwork yet, but I can do that afterwards. Uh, but this feels like a good place to start a tour. Uh, so once again, mustaches aside, uh, I want to give one more special thanks to my builders, Galen Dudek, ex-student, Jar of Jam, Mephansterus, and the other Melinda who really, really came through for me in building this incredible city. I'm, I'm so pleased with it. Uh, I'm really appreciative to them. Uh, I've actually been inspired. I think we we'll probably, at some point in the nearish future, I might even open up just a creative building server with a, uh, just like a building mod pack with a lot of, of cosmetic blocks and stuff like that. And just, just let these people go wild because they're obviously incredible builders. Uh, so starting from over here, We've got uh, this little park, which was built by Galen Dudek, and I love this huge tree. 
I love how he used the, the bark walls and stuff to make the branches. And we've got the, I think these are architecture, bro yeah, architecture craft blocks to make these, these things here. And it's just beautiful. I just love this. Um, I think Galen was also the one who built these, these paths, these stairs up here and over here. Um, and they just, they just look really nice. It's just such a nice transition from the kind of white marble to the kind of natural area. Now there's another park over here, another small park. I think this one was made by the other Melinda. And it's also just, it's just a really beautiful, I love natural builds. And I feel like this is just a really nice little natural build. It looks, it looks natural, but it also, like, you can tell this was very carefully put together. You know what I mean? Like, this is not something that would generate naturally in Minecraft. Um, over here, as I mentioned, these walls, these walls were my project. Uh, they were pretty much my main contribution to the map. Um, just, I, I, you know, like I said, I love natural builds, and I love the idea of having a city that was just, like, gleaming marble meets nature. And so we've got the blue water, we've got brown and green plants, and we've got white, and, and we've got a bit of glass. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not very happy with this little mural right here. <laughs> it was an experiment, and it was, you know, we, we were running short on time, so I was like, yeah, right, it's good enough. Uh, but I do like the way this wall came out. My favorite thing is the staircase here, and the kind of little diorama display behind the glass. Um, there were butterflies in here as well, but we did eventually have to remove butterflies from the server because people felt that they were causing lag, and we don't want people having lag problems on our server. The whole reason the map is so small, the whole reason for uh, building the city in the spawn chunks was to minimize lag as much as possible. So, we, we had to take out the butterflies. Uh, now, I'm not sure who built which parts of uh, a lot of these little parks and things. We've got this dome here with a little, little pool in the middle of it. We've got these little walkways with the bushes and stuff. Um, I love all this stuff. This little park right here is another of my builds. So this this little fenced off area, I built this one. <laughs> it took a lot longer than I feel it should have. And I'm never happy with my trees. I always feel like my trees look terrible. Uh, but I like the rest of it. The rest of it came out pretty nice. Um, and I kind of based my, my design for this little stone fountain on the one that was down there by the entrance. That was built first. So that's this area here. And we come to the Welcome Center. The Welcome Center was the first building built on the server, and this was built by Galen Dudek. And I was just so blown away by it, by, by how well he used all the different blocks and brought them together. And we've got cat statues, and, you know, the tree growing up in the middle, and the dome, and you just, like, such, such good use of all of the different blocks, and it's just beautiful. And um, I, I absolutely love it. Um, then we have the warehouse. Um, I think it was X student who built the warehouse. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about some of these. This one I think was either X student or Galen who built this. Uh, I did some of the interior decorating, and we do also have here in the back uh, a warehouse, an actual warehouse full of chests. Now most of these, uh, well, we, we, We'll keep it a secret what's in those. <laughs> all of the supplies, of course. All of the supplies that is used to fill these requests are, are in there, obviously. Obviously. Um, so that's the supply warehouse. Uh, all, another very beautiful building. Uh, we've got the health and safety office, and I think this one was Galen as well. Galen is a very prolific builder, and it's, it's, again, it's gorgeous. The weeping angel statues are a little bit terrifying, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but the building itself is, is really lovely, and it's set up really nicely. Um, over here, we have the land registry office. Actually, actually, I think the warehouse and the, uh, the uh, requisitions office was Mephansterous. And I think X student built the land registry office. Folks, my patrons who, who helped me build this, if I am misattributing anything, please, for goodness sake, leave a comment and correct me. Make sure the world knows which things you built. You all did such an awesome job. I want everyone to get the proper credit. Uh, but this office is really, really nice as well. I am terrible at building larger structures and finding things to do with them, but this all looks legit. You know what I mean? Like, it all looks like it belongs here. And it's got this nice open uh, with the, the glass ceiling. And, um, and it can even go up on, this, on the roof here. And there's some fruit trees up here. So new players who, who spawn an oasis... There's plenty of food around. There's, there's like little fruit trees and stuff. They can get their first little little nom noms. By the way, that balloon over there, I do believe is the other Melinda. Also an incredibly talented builder, obviously. And she also did the post office, which is right here. 
um, which we've already we've already marveled at today. But still, uh, this post office went up in like half an hour or something. <laughs> like they came on here and were like, "I'll take care of the post office." And then shortly later, it was like, "Okay, the post office is done." I was like, "Okay, it's probably just gonna be a box." And it came on. I was like, "Oh my goodness, it's beautiful." It's gorgeous. Look at the, the the marble columns, the pillars. And we've got this little glass area over here with a little seating area. And it's it's lovely. And all the post office boxes were here and just like perfection. Spectacular. Thank you so much, the other Melinda, for your building assistance. Now we've got a lot of player plots around here um, that are still to be claimed. Uh, we don't have enough players on right now to claim all of them. It may be that I'll open up the server to general uh, patrons of the Simpletons, so it won't just be mine and, and Saffron's play patrons, but also all the Simpleton patrons. Um, we're kind of holding off on that to make sure that the server doesn't get too laggy. So far, so good though. So far, I have not seen any serious problems with lag. Uh, we have this park here. I believe this is Mephansterus' build, this park. And I love it. It's like a biome park. So we've got the jungle here. And there's this path that leads all the way through it. Then we've got the ice biome, the frozen biome. We've got some snow piled up around here right next to it. And then there's the desert. Desert biome, again, with the, the very natural looking path coming through. And then we have this kind of swamp area with some mud. And then we've got the dark oak with mushrooms growing in it. Um, absolutely beautiful. I love this little park. Spectacular beautiful park. Uh, and here we've got, looks like some somebody has started building a player house here. And I'm not sure whose it is, and I don't see a sign. Whoever's house this is, leave a comment, let us know. Looks like it's in progress. Looks like it's not maybe filled up just yet, but... Uh, Lots of space, we do have a bed. Somebody can set their spawn here. We've got trees in the roof, which I like. It fits in very well with the aesthetic of the city as a whole. So this is quite nice. Um, and looks like somebody else is building another player house down here. So each player on the server is entitled to one player house block in the city, either up here or down below. Um, and then they're entitled also to six plots of land. Originally it was gonna be four plots, four chunks. Uh, but then I decided, you know, we don't have that many, we don't have that many, uh, players, so we can afford to give everyone six chunks. So this looks like probably in prog- in progress as well. Phoenix Shipping. Oh, okay. Oh, no, wait, that's the- that's the- the sign to Phoenix Shipping. Okay, let me- there we go. Get my hand back. Castle Tea Rooms. Interesting. Okay, okay. I like it. Look at these cakes. Look at these cakes. Oh my goodness. Um, there's so many, there's so many beautiful little, little features. I think, I think Galen, Galen made this little tiny park over here. Uh, and then we come over here. I mean, look at this. Is that, that's chisels and bits. Wow. I didn't even notice that little detail before. Whoever made that, that is, that is beautiful. That must have taken a while. I know how long it takes to build with chisels and bits. Oh my goodness, do I know. Um, I believe this is X student built this little temple here, this little nature temple, which is also beautiful. We have like all the, the different seasonal colors. Like we've we've got, I love the kind of like cross section trees in the walls. Uh, we've got these suns chiseled and bitted into the wall. Gorgeous. Again, like I know how long it takes to do something like that, and that came out so nice. And we have these little looks like a little bench made out of architecture blocks or maybe an altar. Um, gorgeous. Love it. Moon is rising. Now, fortunately, there is a law in Oasis that uh, the entire city must be lit up at all times. So, I even went so far as to go and light up all of the cave systems below the ground in Oasis. We're, we're serious about this. So, there should not be any issues with mobs. Uh, yeah, I think these are Galen's little, little fountains here. And this right here uh, spawned in the world originally. And uh, it's the the architectural, the uh, archaeological dig site. This is a dungeon, and you can go down in there. And I don't, I the dungeon was the one thing that I didn't light up. So anyone who wanted to go and explore the dungeon and get some loot, there is still loot in there. I think I, I know some players have been in there and cleaned out at least part of it, but I don't think the whole thing has been cleaned out yet. So if you if you want to go and have a little adventure, just you know be 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 aware that it's a little bit it's a little bit scary in there. There's some monsters in there. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've got the outside of the gates lit up now, and we have these proper gates here. 
so that we don't have creepers coming in and blowing chunks out of our city anymore. That wasn't fun. Uh, this little park here was my design. Just, you know, we, there, there's so much area to fill. We basically, we wanted to fill up the spawn chunks with something so that uh, we wouldn't have to deal with laggy blocks on here anywhere and we wouldn't have to deal with uh, mobs here. So we just had to, we had to fill it all up. So we've been here. This is, uh, this is another one of my little parks over here. They're, they're nothing fancy. It was just, again, like, let's just fill the space with something pretty. And then I think Galen, Mr. Galen, who has built so much, I think he also built uh, this right here. This little pyramid thing, step pyramid with a fountain on the top. We got a bit of a view over the edge. Of course, it's dark right now, so you can't see very much. But there's also some, some trees up here, some fruit trees. Um, and then, finally, there's some other ones over here, and I don't know exactly who built what on this little strip on this edge of the city. I suspect Jar of Jam did some of this. Uh, but this is a lovely little, little boat ride. It's a lovely little boat ride under here. Of course, I'm messing it up because I'm taking one of the boats and moving it elsewhere. Um... And I think Jam also did some of these little little parks in the corners and stuff like that. And I don't know if this one was Jam as well with this rainbow tunnel. This is very pretty. Very colorful. And I think that's it. I think that's the entire city of Oasis. I think we've covered it all. If I miss something, yell at me in the comments. Let me know. Make sure the next time I'm on here doing an inspection that I will uh, I will cover it for you. Um, but right now, I've been going for a while. I don't know how... Uh, this is probably going to be two episodes, I think. Since, uh... I have been playing for a while, but of course some of it was just hiding from, from the night and the rain and stuff, so... Um, we'll, we'll see what that comes out to be in editing. But presumably you're, you're at the end of the second episode of this. Uh, I have a lot of paperwork to do, folks. I have a lot of paperwork to do. Let me, let me take this off. Goodness, I don't need to wear this now. Um, thank you so much for, uh, for joining me here in Oasis. Thank you for joining me for the inspection... Uh, on the absolute immersive server. Uh, I will plug one more time. This is a patron server. It is not the only patron server. Uh, my patrons at $5 and up get access to this server. Uh, I currently have a breakout server. Um, I'm planning more servers as well, just for my patrons. And there's also the Simpleton servers. The Simpletons being my, my YouTube group, kind of Minecraft YouTube group. They have a vanilla 1.14 server up. Uh, there's a, a custom mod pack called uh, Simpleton's SMP Year One, which has got a whole bunch of custom mods in it. Uh, so those two servers are available to all of my patrons as well, as well as all the other Simpleton's patrons. Uh, and there's a Vintage Store server, which is currently, we're currently getting it set up for the latest version of Vintage Store, which is very exciting. I'm definitely going to be playing on that. And uh, so if you become a patron of $5 and up per month, not only are you helping to support me, and uh, it's very appreciated, uh, but you, we have a lot of stuff to give you in return. So you, you get access to a lot of fun stuff. Um, and even if you can't afford to support me, you know, watch the videos, uh, leave comments, and uh, join the Discord. Come come and jump on the Discord. There's a lot of, it's a really lovely, friendly little community on the Discord. It's nice people. It's, it's public. Everybody can join. Link link is, is in the description below. You might have to click the, the show more thing, but then you can see it. Um, and that's it. I'm procrastinating, my friends, procrastinating because I don't want to do my paperwork, but I got to do my paperwork. Bureaucracy is important, and we've got to we've got to follow the rules, and we've got to get these these uh, health and safety inspection reports to the the different base owners. So I'm going to go off and do that, and I hope that the rest of you folks have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.